Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel and happy new year. We're gonna teach you how to make us uh, some Puerto Rican corned beef with rice. And we're gonna use this can of corned beef that comes in Libby's. These ones are from Aldi's, but it's not with potatoes. And we're gonna use tomato sauce. It's one can of tomato sauce, the small cans, for every can of corned beef. And we're gonna use some Sasson con <laughs> Conazafran, <laughs> which you're gonna need one pouch to one can of corned beef and one can of sauce. So you just basically want to put the corned beef in the pot. I didn't show you to do this because I couldn't get the cans open. Lisa had to do it. <laughs> because there are these like crazy cans with a key. She's an expert. It's her recipe. Well, actually, it's her, it's her mother-in-law's recipe. Um, but then what you do is this is two cans of corned beef. I'm going to put in two cans of sauce. And this is enough to make for four people. Okay. Of yeah, course, depending on how much they want to eat. I I now this actually cooks. cooks way faster than the rice. So we That's make sure we always start the rice no, first. Whether you so. make your minute like, rice, mm. instant rice, slow rice, or <laughs> rice in the uh, rice cooker. However you're gonna do it, you wanna make sure that you just put this on for the last five minutes of your rice cooking so it's all done at the same time. Because this really takes no time whatsoever. In fact, this whole video is shot live and it's the whole video is seven minutes. And as you can see, it's actually taking me more time to get stuff together and the cans open than it is to cook it. Okay? Now, you know me, get your rubber spoon out, uh, spatula out, and scrape the heavens bejesus out of that thing, would you? Make sure you get every little pit, last bit of sauce. Yeah, whatever I just said. Um. <laughs> But you want to do that for both cans. You know, I'm really, um, you know how I am, guys. We don't leave any man left behind. All right? And then I'm going to go ahead and we're oh, going to put I, it I on to the stove. And we're going to set the stove to high. Um, high or the number 10 on your burner if it's sure, electric. I actually think you're going to like it a lot. And then we're okay. going to add two packages of mm. Sasson. Again, Sasson, one to one small can of sauce to one can of corned beef is the ratio. Now I have seen recipes on Pinterest that have the corned beef with potatoes, like hash, but that's not what we use here, and I think that would be very different. So we're gonna break up the meat, and you know, I have a meat um, macerator thingy, chopper thingy, and Lisa has one too, but of course it was in the dishwasher when I went to go make this. <laughs> the dishwasher was running, so. Just using a wooden spoon, so you guys don't have to have any special tools. I um, mean, it's just to break this meat up. Um, it comes out of the can, as you can imagine, compressed. And it's already chopped, so it's, you know, it's finely ground, so you just need to break up the pieces. And I'm just having at it. Now, be careful if you have a non-stick pan. You want to make sure you use um, a non-metal or abrasive um, utensil, unless otherwise, you know, your pan might be able to take it, depending on what kind you have. All right? And as soon as this comes to a boil, it's done. You can let it simmer if you want to, but there's, it doesn't intense the flavor or anything. It doesn't... Um, you know, change the flavor or anything. It just um, it makes it stay hot longer. <laughs> okay. So oh, once you get it all broken up and mixed together, you want it to be thoroughly combined. That's one of the real you reasons we like to break it up more. because you want to make sure like every chunk of meat is surrounded by a little bit of sauce and seasonings, you know? And I don't think a, I don't think a meal can be any simpler. Now, I have seen um, this served over potatoes. I have seen it served yeah. over... Um, like the, uh, you know, the pasta that looks like yes. little grains of rice. Uh, I, was, I, really about I don't remember the name of it. <laughs> but um, I've also seen it. Um, you you could use this as, I thought it would be make a really fantastic dip. If you got some sort of little like rice crackers or something, you can definitely dip this as well. Okay. Now that it's in thoroughly incorporated, we're just going to lower it and we're going to let it simmer away. We can cover it when we're okay, happy with its blade. consistency. As you can see, it's bubbling up and it's starting to boil. And once you okay. have all of the meat incorporated, that's it. And the meal is just pretty much done. That's why you, this only takes a few minutes and you want to really make sure that your rice is done or almost done by the time um, you're, you start this. All right. Let's see. Now... If you guys want a little backstory, um, Lisa's uh, husband, uh, ex-husband, excuse me, uh, is of Puerto Rican descent, and so are her children, obviously. Um, but um, 
this was something that he grew up eating from his mom. And they um, made it for me the first time back back in the day. I loved it so much that she actually made it from my bridal shower. <laughs> because it just like it was my it's my favorite thing whenever we come over. So I figured I had to share it with you guys. Whenever I come to Lisa's house, we have to have corned beef. So I figured I would share it with you guys. Okay. Um, all right. I think it's looking pretty good right now. Um, no man left behind. Now, just like any red sauce, be careful you don't just put your spoon on the counter because it will stain. Okay. And as it starts to bubble up, you want to just find the cover for it. You want to cover it up and just let it simmer away, stay warm, however, you, till you're ready to serve it. All right, and make sure your stove is lowered to low and just let it go. So how I made my rice is two to one. I did two waters to one rice. I don't rinse my rice. I make it like my dad always taught me to, but Sharon was saying she rinses her rice um, two or three times. Her mom rinses her rice four or three or four times to get the starch out, but my dad always taught me how to make like the sticky oh, rice. Okay. I know how to do and, it, I just um, never actually did it. Yeah, if you hear me saying I never There's actually made rice before. This was, never, this was my first time actually no, doing it. And I thought it came out pretty good. Um, the way I used like to have it when I have corned beef, okay? And then you just serve it on top of rice. That's what I did. And it is absolutely delicious, my favorite. So like I said, guys, I really do hope you enjoy this recipe. I'd love for you guys to try it. And if you have tried it, if you are um, somebody who has had this before, uh, please leave it in the comments down below. I'd love to know if your take on it is any different or if you use a different seasoning or anything. I'd love to hear from you guys. So um, like I said, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below. Give this video a thumbs up if you think you'd like this to try this or... Um, a new New Year's dish. And if you haven't yet, click subscribe. And when you do, a little bell will pop up. When you ring that bell, YouTube will let you know whenever I upload a new video. And as always, take care. God bless. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Happy New Year.